Welcome back to Better Life Reviews. Today I got something really exciting for you guys. We're gonna be checking out the HBuds H1 Bluetooth Sport Wireless Headphones. These are my new favorite pair of budget headphones and they go for only $24.99 on Amazon. We're also gonna compare them to the popular Senso Active Buds. We're gonna do a water test and check out sound and various other aspects of these headphones. Don't forget to subscribe and check out Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And all this stuff can be easily accessed from the YouTube main page. So let's get into it. Now I gotta be honest, it was a little bit hard for me to take a $25 pair of headphones seriously. But when HBot sent these out to me, I was super impressed with the box. This reminds me of the Jaybird X3, so just packaged really beautifully, and they obviously spent a lot of time on it. Inside, you're gonna find great accessories, including three pairs of silicone tips, two pairs of foam tips, a short charging cable, and a bag to keep all of it in. So overall, it's a really nice package. Now, HBuzz does include a small cord management clip, which is typical of pretty much any Bluetooth headphones out these days. Um, however, I found this cord to be really soft, not to stick in my neck a whole lot, and really to work very well without it. I also thought these things looked pretty good, and they were super easy to pair up. You just hold in the right multi-function button for three seconds, make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your phone, touch the thing that says H1, and you're connected super easy, no problems. Believe it or not, these things actually sound really good. Now, they're not quite as good as the Jaybird X3s, but when I pop them in, I couldn't believe how clear they were. Super clear, great sounding voice, great lows, mids, and highs, and overall just a really well-balanced sound. The great sound is no doubt thanks to Bluetooth 4.1 Plus EDR with APTX compression, which is pretty impressive to find in this $25 price category. The HBuds have a built-in microphone and that actually worked really well. The other person could hear me really well, I had no problem hearing them, and it was plenty loud enough. The voice is clear and crisp, and these are also Siri and Google Assistant compatible. I tried them out with Google Assistant and they worked really well. I could talk back and forth and uh, give directions to my phone. Had no problems there. Battery life in these is really impressive as well. I easily got eight to nine hours of time off a 1.5 hour charge, which is what is claimed. And uh, charged up super easy, held its charge really well, and no problems there either. Another big thing about these headphones is that they're IPX7 waterproof rated, which means they're sweat and waterproof, and they can theoretically stand submersion in up to one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. So, we're gonna check that out now. So the manufacturers really stand behind these things being IPX7 waterproof rated, so, you know, we gotta check it out. First, let's start off with a little music here. All right, so you can get a feel that definitely they are playing. Kind of get a little idea how the music sounds, although it's not very clear across the microphone. And here we go with the first test. We're going to pour some water on them. Alright, so as you can see, I soaked these things pretty good. No problems at all. Let's move on to the dunk test. Alright, so now we're going to fully submerge the Ace Buds in water for about a minute and a half. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing, so I'll speed it up, but I'll have it playing throughout the whole time. And we'll see if they survive this test. Let's get to it. Here we go. Alright, so as you can see, they live to their claims. No problems at all. If you look at the website and the packaging, it's clear that HBuzz intended these to be a sport-oriented headphone. And they work really well for that. First of all, as we discussed, they're IPX7 rated. They sound great. The ear hooks are really secure. They're firm, yet flexible. The earbuds fit into your ear really well. And they're CVC 6.0 passive noise cancellation rated. Now, if you want to increase the noise cancellation and increase the fit in your ear, all you do is throw on the foam tips and they're gonna be even more secure and have better isolation. However, I had no problem with them staying in my ears with either one of the ear tips. Bluetooth range in these is nothing to write home about, but it's actually really good. Pretty standard Bluetooth range though. Around 30 feet for your typical use, and you can get up to 50 feet if there's no obstructing objects. So overall, I was very impressed with the Bluetooth range. I thought it'd be a good idea to compare the HBuds to the Sensos because, well, the Senso Active Buds are just really popular. First of all, let's talk about how they're similar. Both are IPX7 rated. Both get around nine hours of battery life off a of 1.5 hour charge. Both have Bluetooth 4.1 plus EDR. Both claim CVC 6.0 passive noise cancellation. Both have accessories included, although they're different, we'll discuss that more. Both have a microphone for calls. Both support connection to two devices at one time. Both have a one-year warranty, and both can theoretically connect to Siri and Google Assistant. 
Now let's talk about where the H buds stand out. Well, first of all, price. They're out $25 compared to $33 to $35 currently for the Sensos. Second of all, objectively, I think they look better in my opinion. They also sound a lot better, and they have the APTX compression. The sound on the H buds is really balanced and crisp, as we've discussed. Uh, you get great lows, mids, and highs, uh, and for the price, it's really impressive. With the sensors, they're going to emphasize primarily bass, which is really great if you're a bass head and that's your primary objective. However, the sound overall beside that and the voices particularly are really muffled. The HBuds do work with Siri and Google Assistant, and I've tested both of these. They worked really well. The battery is also larger at 110 milliamp hours compared to 85 milliamp hours with the Sensos. Now, there are a couple reasons why you might consider the Sensos. First of all, they have a ton of reviews and they're considered to be generally reliable. Second of all are the accessories, and they've done a great job with this. It includes a two port car charger, a micro USB slash lightning cable, which is really cool, and it comes with a hard case, which I prefer to the soft case on the HBuds. However, in my book, sound quality trumps it, so I'll leave it up to you. Now, I will be testing out a lot of other Bluetooth headphones coming up, but these are really my top recommendation. They're only $25 with great sound, IPX7, awesome packaging. You really can't go wrong. I recommend you pick them up by checking the description below, and I'll see you in the next review.